that. I, 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 only, I only know uh, the Moriori history and my own Moai in East Island and, uh, and King Williams uh, and the Kings and Queens. Any, anybody else I don't know. I don't know what they do with, because it's a different bloodline. I, I only stick on the bloodlines I know that, that I've got the money and the bank and, and the gold and everything. It's the ones I'm in. I'm in. You see? I'm, I'm, I'm chasing after all that gold is missing. 300 metric tons are sitting in the Caribbean. That's ours. The Dutch owns that. And we are, we're King William, King William the Third and King William the Fourth is Dutch. You can forget about everybody else because they're Dutch and the Spanish owns all the gold and wealth in the world with this flag. So everybody else on that side can stay there with all the people they follow and we're going to go the other way. Bundy and, and those guys that stick beside me all the way. Well, I only look after Bundy, Manahi and, and Hidawini because they believe me and they go with me and they don't change and go somewhere else. All the people going the other way can go the carry, carry on going that way because we're going, we're going to Hidden now without them arriving. I'm going to take those lands at Titi and Waitangi and I'm going to take that land, whip it right underneath them. You watch me from that court hearing in Auckland. I'm taking all this country back, one shot, because I know what to do. After that, I'll take the whole world back, off the Queen. And then I'm going to England to hang her. That's what Porto Hope don't like me talking about there. It's the Queen that's buggering the whole world up with this flag. She's the one that's, that's ruined everything and ran away from Maori. She's, she's gone into the EU Parliament and, and gone out of Westminster. She's still living in London, but all her wealth has gone into, into the EU Parliament and she's trying to shut down Westminster where our flag is. If they, if they shut down Westminster, our flag is gone. That's why I'm trying to save the flag. It's gone if, they, if the New World Order comes in with the Pope. We, we lose everything. The Queen and the Pope will take the whole world over. That's the New World Order. Maori don't know that. Uh, that's where I'm at, at the top end. I'm at the top end of, of, of the royal families, because my family, the Wānau family, is royal family in Tahiti. Right? That's why I'm sitting right and nobody can knock me out of the way. Let alone Puro. He's out of the road of my road. He's got no royalty as close, close to the king as what I've got. Those, those, those Moai statues is my own family. In, in, in Raiatea and in, in, in Rapa Nui, to Mokonui or Malimba. That's my title. You see, I can talk for it because nobody else can. And I can talk for the king because nobody else is. I'm talking for that king and, and their flag. Nobody else can. You see? And they know that in Britain. They know that. But people, I'm just leaving everybody behind now. I'm going with Bundy and we're off. Because nobody's really listening to what we're doing. To the law, to the law. And nobody can frighten me either because the Freemasons will come because they've got the title to all the documents in the world, they own them. And if anybody gets in my road, they'll clean them out. Now you tell Porto, you better watch it because the Freemasons are looking after me. And they control this whole world with those legal documents. You have to be very careful what he says from now on because the whole world is watching online, on Facebook, on YouTube, and I'm right there, right in front of the world, telling them what to do. You see? It's on record. That's why I don't get, uh, I don't have anything happen to me. If Porto is saying things like that, he's got another agenda that's a threat to me. If he talks like that, and he talks to you to tell me I can't go because of something, somebody's going to go after him. They're watching what he says. Anybody... Yeah? Perhaps you didn't hear. No, I don't care about what he says to me. I've got more power than he has. You tell him that. You tell him that. He wasn't talking about power. He was talking about your welfare. No, no, I don't care about anybody because there's somebody watching me. I don't care. I get the British to come here and pick me up and mud me and them and we're off. We don't have to worry about anybody because they'll take this country over as soon as I say. If I sign the documents with those Freemasons, they'll knock everybody out of the way. Because it's their documents. They have the legal documents to this whole world and this country. Period. That's what Mohi Manukau was doing. And me. He left his, his executive powers to me. And I've already been to the Freemasons. They know. They know. If anybody gets in the road, they'll deal with them. They're watching Puro and watching anybody getting in my road. I'll, I'll tell, I'll tell, I'll tell Puro that. 
that Bundy and them, and they know that because their names are up there in Westminster to go there. We'll have a safe trip there with the British right here to shut this place down. I'm bringing them here. Right? Anybody says, That's, I'm going to leave everybody on that side to worry about their own way of doing things. When I get the money, it's not going there. You see? The people that are negative to me not get anything. They won't get a brass rouser out of me. Because I did all the work in 20 years of, of this. Nobody else. I've never seen anybody doing this on that team that I, and they shut the gate on us. That's the first time that gate's been shut. And Kingy always lets me in. Now that he's not there, those idiots are running the place. Now they had a meeting last week, Bundy said they had a meeting and they're, they're, they're not happy with what happened, with the gate shutting. You see, I didn't arrange, if I arranged that, that but I, I would have got it. I would have got it. You see, that fellow Hummer threw me out of that marae. That's the first offence. He's got a trillion pound on his head. Anybody that sits in a row get a trillion pound on their head. And the British will mark that. They'll arrest them. You watch. Anybody that, that deals and, 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 and gets in the way of the documents that I write and the documents that belong to the Freemasons, all those documents they are holding doesn't belong to them. All the titles in this country on this land don't belong to them. It belongs to the Freemasons. They put it together in Scotland, in, in, in Edinburgh. I'm going to Edinburgh to check all the titles. See why? Because <coughs> I know how to read them. Mohi was my mentor. He, he taught me everything. And his uncle, John Rogan, put all those titles together in, in, in the Khyber and down the coast. You see? So that's what I'm saying. I, I, I don't have to go to anything less of a king. That's why my name in England at the moment is King John. Tell me. I'll tell you. That's my name over there now, right in bright lights. They're waiting for me to go there and clean that country up. And America, I've got contacts in America to clean that lot out. I'm going to boot Trump out. You watch me. I'm going to boot him out because I'm, I'm there for the native people. The ones that listen. Right? I've got no time left. I've got no time left and I've been battling on my own to do this because nobody else can. It's too late. The, 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 the New World Order is ready to take this place out. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to go my best for, for the last bit and uh, to, to try and save it. Because the, the Rothschilds and the Queen and Trump and all those people are ready to take it out. And they're, they're already starting to chip the people in Australia, chip them so they can, they can control them and their accounts. And they, and they can bill you with the chip on you. They're already doing that. You see, I'm trying to stop it. I've got more, I've got a more of a job around the world than just up here. I've got somebody to take my business over, the whole thing. And I'll step aside and I'm going around the world to save all well, the rest of the country. It's all a done deal. I've been putting this, this together all these years. And that's why nobody can talk. I'll sit on the Marae and try and tell anybody, try and tell our people what to do. It goes in one ear and out the other. The only people that know is the people who know how it works, how, how to do land and titles and all those sort of things. It's too late for me to spend more time trying to teach everybody. I know all these things because I've put the effort and the time in it and gave my own time to it and, and I, I don't get anything for it. I just get a kick up the ass from, from, from Maori. So, so, so it's going to work out anyway. Then I can step aside and let Georgie take her, do her thing because she's got to sort out the government on that side, on the 1835 Declaration of Independence side, but not the British. She can't go, nobody can go in the British side, only us with those three, Paramount and me. It's too late because the, the thing Kingy was in, but he ran away, you see? He, he stuck with me all the way and he ran away. And so I had to cross him out. See? I had to cross him off because he let me down and, and, and abandoned me, thinking that he, he would have another way to do it because his name's on the list. No, I just crossed his name out. You see? I, cro I had to cross him out because he's a, he had no time for King William. He's, he's a King Edward. He, he's, on, he's, he's going after the King, King Edward bloodlines and Queen Victoria Trust. You see? He, he wants to chase after that. He's, he's quite welcome to it. But when, they, when, they, when he goes to Westminster, they'll just say, this, where's your title? See? That's the first thing they'll say at Westminster and the World Court. Where's your title? And even at the United Nations, uh, Sue Nakora and Bruce Gregory, all those ones went there. 
That's what they said. Where's your title? When I go there, I pull the title and stick it right in front of them. And they say, oh, so you had it. You see? You see what I mean? And I take the whole country, and not only Maori, everybody. But everybody's in it because the whole place needs someone to look after it. There's not enough Maoris. So it's, it's for, that's what I say. The king's side, there's 70% of the population. On the queen's side, there's 30%. Get to the deck. You watch everybody jump on the side when that girl takes over my website and, and, and the business. She knows what to do. I'm going to leave her till I trust her and I just met her. I just only met her. <coughs> you see? I, I can tell who, who I can trust. And I, I, I spoke to, uh, to uh, Paula at, at uh, Tūngo Wakamarae and she's just going to sort things out for me. I've got to pay for it from, from my own money. I'm about, I always pay with my own money for my gold card. I'll pay for the Marae, I'll pay for everything, and I cook the food myself. That's what I've been doing all along. I, I, I arrange the whole thing so nothing goes wrong. You see? I, I put a, I put in on a, a wānanga on a Saturday so I can tell them what's going to happen next. Who's going to get what? You see? I, I've got to give it away. I can't, I can't save the money for John Wānau. No. It's got, to, it's got to have beneficiary or people who believe in what I do. I can't, I, I've got to spread the whole thing around the world where all the people around the world are going to jump in because I set it up on a website for everybody in the world who's affected by the same Queen. It's the Queen that's ruined everything with the Rothschild banks, took over the Queen, Victoria. And then the banks that, that caused the war and pay for all the wars. You see? To, to make more money out of the war business and, and to capture all the people's lands. And that's how they've been doing since they they're using our flag to do it because that's the only king's flag that can do it. There's no other way to do it. It's this flag and the marriage don't know. They don't know what it is. Just wave around the place. It's more than just the flag. It's the bank. The magistrate court bank that I set up, the magistrate court, to make ourselves a crown, make ourselves a bank. Now, no one can call themselves a bank or a crown except me. Right? That's, 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 that's right in front of the world. They know I'm talking for the king, not for John Wannell, for the king. And, and those paramounts, I, I put Bundy in them there because they're the ones that are the right ones with the right surnames to fit. Bundy, uh, I mean, Hedewini, Clark, the Clarks did the land titles, you see? But they did the land titles, so he's, he's the honourable man right at the front. He, in fact, he's the captain of the ship from Britain that bought, bought, bought those laws and everything here for us to, to save us from, from the French and to, to bring his uh, uh, king here. You see? So he's the Honourable Justice Selwyn Clark, ex-British UK immigrant settler. There. That's his title on the documents. Right straight into the, the Magistrate Court in, in, in Westminster. The Honourable Justice Selwyn Clark, ex-British UK immigrant settler. There. That's his title. He he he's overrides everybody here. Because it's it's his it's his tuponas over there's paper with with all these words all over it that put on our land. So he has a first right of say. He's the oldest and he's his own uh, competent witness to anything better than anybody else. You see? So I stick him right at the top and then Manahi after and then Bundy. Bundy the, enforces the law. He's the force the law. He, he forces the law. He forces, he forces the law on, on, the, on the British side and he takes his head off and jumps on the other side, as the Ariki on that side, and the 1835 then cleans the government out. Reduces their power and limits what they can do with the land. Leave them there because they need, need to live. Leave them there but reduce what they can do. Take the consent away from them for, for fracking and oil drilling and all those sort of things because they're going stupid with it. They do, nobody, nobody there to stop them. Now, after this, the chiefs can go and stop them from doing mischief with, with our land and selling it off to the Chinese, sell it off to everybody. We, this is the only way to stop it, is to use the British military and the British government, Westminster, to do it, because this flag allows us to do that. This flag allows us to do that. And I've been on Skype all morning to, to America to tell them get ready because they've just suddenly realised that this flag is controlling over there as well. In, in the 1832 period, 
under King William the Fourth. You see, so it's no different. They know what to do now. They're, they're following what I'm doing, and I go over there and do their case online. I, I just told them get the chiefs, put them online. I've already had the Canadian chiefs online with me. They're just waiting for this to happen, and bang, they'll, they'll jump in on, on the same thing up there in Canada. And then America now, we've got people up there <coughs> running the business from this uh, Maui Crown and the King William IV Trust. So that's for everybody in the world, not so, no, not, not so much here. The Whakamini will look after this country and they'll get, they'll get, they'll get paid from out of this lot. You see? You see? That's the flag working. The, 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 the Whakamini knows the flag goes around the country, but it, it's got no record of where it goes around the world. There's a hidden secret what they do with it. The Queen is using that Waitangi Marae, that's why I went in there, to put the, put the title back in there from Britain. And then on the Titi Marae, with the, with, that's what the Magistrate Court. See? So, so now, nobody's going to tell me what to do with all those paramount chiefs because we're gone. We're, we're on our way now. We, we, we don't have to stand around here on that Marae anymore. We, we, we're starting to do things now legally through Britain, through Westminster. The letters are already gone, Bundy sent them already, they've gone around the whole place. And those other fellows of Tainui and, and Hodaki with, uh, with that Indian lawyer, they've sent all their stuff, guess what? When they open up their documents over there, they'll say, oh, there's two people doing the same thing. Which one is the real one, you see? And anybody else go, go there with his, with his documents, they'll say the same thing. Which one is real? Who's got the title? And they'll end up with this lot, you see? And the oldest, oldest oldest uh, 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 um, of them all, but um, uh, her, Selwyn, and, and, and they've gone right over the top of them. See, Puro's gone right over the top of Selwyn, because Selwyn's in control of all this lot. And he doesn't realise, he doesn't know that. He, he wouldn't have a clue. Because Selwyn's too, at his age, he's active. He, his mind is, is on fire, because he knows, he, he knows, and he was just waiting for someone to say so, that he's in the position to look after the British end here. See? What he says goes. When those letters go off to England, they'll know who he is. See? He's one of theirs, you see? And, and you, uh, you, your, your family will be coming from that end, but I'm just picking one out that's, that knows what to say and what to do. He's a British, he's a, he's a war veteran. There, yeah, that, 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 that's just the war side of that flag. He, he can stand there and talk. He's been there and done that. So, Good that we've got them, because otherwise it would have been harder without them. Someone that's been there and done that. You see? It's just what I'm saying. I'm doing legal, legal work. I want to see where Puroho's legal stuff is, because all mine is on Facebook. It's on, it's on YouTube. It's all over the world watching it. All the do legal documents. Now there's more than enough to, to chuck anybody out of court. That's why I won my case in Auckland. I, I win everything after that. The police can't stand in the way. And I'll just take that cook tree, I'll take any land, I'll take the whole country. You watch. They can't get past this with those chiefs with me, with me now. Those three and myself that won the case. I could have taken this whole country myself. But I have to have chiefs because it's not mine. It's not mine. You see? I'm just testing the law to see who's, who, who's going to crack underneath me or them. And the whole lot of them, the whole lot of the police, the courts, the judges, the, the parliament dropped right in front of me. That's why I can talk now. They're, they're not supposed to lock me up. They're, they're going to go for a big skate by the British. That's why i got big pound notes on their head. Those pound notes are sitting in the ANZ Bank in Auckland. I'm going to go back there. As soon as they put me in the office in, in Cook Street, I'm down. The bank will come up and sign the document because if they don't give me the money I want, I'll just take the land on the the bank and shut them down. That's why I was going into the court to shut them down. I never got my day in court. They left me out and then took those, uh, those Maori fellows in those uniforms, those UN marshals. They, took the, they let them go and then didn't, didn't have my court hearing. They just said it's all over. You see, so I'm not finished with them. I'm not finished with them. I'll finish them off. I'll have my, my day in court in the Marae because they haven't got any, any information better than what I got to, to, to shut me down. You see, they kept me out of court because I was going in there to shut them down. And now I'll just leave it to Bundy to shut them down. Bundy can shut them down because he's, he's the law enforcement and Manahi and myself are the lawmakers. We make the law. And Bundy goes and enforces it. 
See? I'm very good at law. It's all over the place. And then the poor ogre and rogue, he gets one of these things, bounty on his head. If he if he's, doesn't stand out of the road when I'm talking, he'll get one of these drops on his head. I'll just, I'll just tell him that. I'm pretty serious because I've done my homework. I've done my homework and everybody here knows just just what I, I should be doing with the, with, the, with the flag in this country, taking it back. He can't get this country back. He's got nothing to get it back with. You see? He, 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 he's got no, no original titles to his name Rooker. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Chris Rooker got caught before with fraud. Now what's he going to do? You see? I've been with Chris Rooker for a long time with his finance and got him caught. So, with, if, if Buddha has got something better, then I haven't seen it. I, I can't see it. I only hear words. Everybody can't show me the title that I showed that Monaco's title with the whakapapa in it. And, and I haven't seen anybody's whakapapa because it won't show anybody because they can't, they can't put it out in the open. Like I, I do. I put everything in front. That's what I said. That court hearing is, is for anybody to come there that's got better titles than what I got. If they haven't got any titles in that court hearing, then they had nothing. Then that's the end of them. That will take the whole place. You see, that's how I operate. I tried it by myself now. I've got, I got better, better chiefs, three of them. I don't need anybody else, just those three. I picked them. And they'll, do, they'll, they'll take over from me. I don't have to stand around. I'm, I'm off to England. And anybody in the road will get shot. With this, with this flag. This flag is the musket flag. Right? That's why the musket went off. Well, this flag. The war. The, the cause of the war. Is that Marae with Peter Peroni and all those fellows. They're going to get a trillion pounds on their head. Their names are already down. The whole parliament. Now, they can't take their photos off my site. On Facebook. They cannot remove them. They can't sue me. They can't do a thing. You see? Because if they go to court, they'll lose. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll lose. Hey? Okay, then. Okay, okay, then. I'm going to see Danny this afternoon. I'm, okay. go I'm going to meet Danny this afternoon. Uh, he's having a birthday party with his kids, so uh, he'll call me and I'll go and see him. I'll keep uh, him. I I'm going to see Danny. I'll keep in touch with him. Okay. Okay, I'll be seeing him later on this afternoon. Okay? Bye. Bye. This bugger pisses me off. <coughs> First of all, he hijacks my marae. Now he's telling me, oh, you hear what Poroho says. Poroho, this one's for you on this video. Get in my fucking road and those three masons will come and clean you up. Be mindful of what I'm saying on this video because I'm sticking to you. Keep out of my road. Stay out of my fucking road because there's people watching me, watching you, mischief people. You haven't got a title. Put your title in front of me. Put your title in front of this. Otherwise, shut your fucking mouth. Put your title in front of this Freemason, Mohi Manukau. And he's two us. Otherwise, shut your fucking mouth. Piss me off, you fellas. You fellas, have, you fellas haven't got the, got, got the full quid. You haven't got the full quid. You only got half a pint. Stupid buggers. Yeah? You're going to have fancy words and, and darling and all the rest of it. No, underneath is not there. That's what Bundy says. Crap. He's right. He's right. If you had a title, you would show your hand. I'm showing my hand right here. This is the Wymore, the Manukau's and the Rogans who put these fucking titles together in this country, you stupid bastard. Get your own. Don't touch these. Don't touch them. Don't touch these, 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 these documents that have crown on it because we are the crown. You're not. You go and get your own crown. Shut your mouth. Go back to Buddha land and get your own crown and stay out of our road because we're going without you. We're going around you without you. You've got an agenda, I know now, because Bundy is suspicious of you and, and Manahi. You see, their spirits are being moved by you and something you've got going. If you're a threat to us, then you'll get the chop because it's not me going to chop you. It's the people in power that have got all the gold and the money and everything that you haven't got. Right? These fellows and these these fellows who put these documents together to save this country or put the titles together to make it what it is against you a threat. I'm having you up for threat right on this video. I'm citing you 
and Bolo and and Willie for telling me, warning me that someone's gonna someone's got something on me. How fucking dare you? How fucking dare you? A Maori say that to me, talking for a king. You can't talk for the king. You talk for Buddha. You you stay with the Japanese and talk for them because they're the ones that fucking see up with their Fukushima and their nuclear fucking waste. That's Bastard this bloody seabed up. You over there with the Japanese and, the, and Americans. You and Americans and Japanese are the fucking terrorists. I'll tell you that now, Purahu. As long as your fucking ass points to the fucking sky, you and the Japanese are liable for all those fish dead in the sea, that all that runoff that's gone into the sea, those nuclear reactors that are busted, and I know who's busted it. You and ISIS and all the rest of the fucking America and Trump is getting whacked out by Soros and the Harp Machine. They are cleaning you lot of thugs out. I'm putting you on this side, Polo, with 30% debtors. This is the creditors, the 70% with Bundy in them. Bundy, money, myself, and, <coughs> and money. And, 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 and Selwyn Clark. We got our documents right. You get your fucking house in order. And leave me out of your house. Okay, I'm just telling you. You have an agenda right off the scale somewhere else. Your interests are offshore. You stay over there. You go to Japan and stay over there. Don't come fucking around here on this land and think you're going to come over the top of me and these guys. I had enough of your bullshit. That's what, that's what Bundy said. Bullshit. Hey? You might be a nice sounding guy, but underneath your fucking thick skin, there's something evil going on in your head. When you stop me in the middle of a presentation of what I'm saying about the Queen and everything, I'm going to fucking hang her! But I stick that in your fucking head. I'm going to hang her for all this fucking damage she's done to all the people in the world, murdered them, killed the little children, sucked, sucked their blood, drank their blood, and all the fucking Jesuit things. Soros will take care of all that, and Putin. Putin is going to clean out Israel. He, they are fucked. He's going to wipe them all out, and North Korea will go and clean them out, and your fucking Japanese as well. I'm saying that because I'm fucking pissed off with you, a Maori, mixing up all the fucking bloods and everything, and think you're going to come out with Buddha leaving these chiefs. Like fucking hell, you can go and stay in Japan and sink with your nuclear waste. Right? You can go in the sea and, and sink there with the, with, the, with the Fukushima and all your fucking deadly weapons of mass destruction. You can stick it, Polo. You can stick it. And I'm pretty sure you had something to do with that bloody Marae shutting. I'm going to take the fucking land, Polo, and you're not going to stop me. I've already had this with Kingy. I was going to take that land. I'll take Cook Street. I'll take the whole fucking country. And kick you right off. Those fellas at Waitangi, they had a meeting. Bundy said they had a meeting because they were pissed off with Hummer. Hummer, you got a fucking bounty on your fucking head. And all of the rest of you. And that time I and everybody. You got a bounty in your fucking head. Everybody that steps in the fucking road. I'm pissed off at you. I'm just going to pass the whole lot over <coughs> to the British and they'll clean you out. I'll just step aside and get on with the tidal turbines and make power and, and, and make this country function properly and chuck the fucking bitches out. All your lot, put out. All your fucking lot. You're not going to trade under this flag like fucking hell. You're not trading under this flag. I'm warning you now. Leave the fucking thing alone. You won't get past these paramount chiefs. No, not one bit. There's too many of them people in this lot. And Carla, you fellas went down to Auckland, didn't bother to come. You knew I'd been advertising to have that meeting in that marae, and then you went down to learn how to run a marae. Well, you can stay right out of it. You, you fucking stay right out of it. Stay right away. All you fellas stay out of this, this side because you weren't there. You weren't at that hui on the beach when the muskets went off. 21 guns went off and signaled through the air at 5 o'clock in the morning. Arranged with the police and the Navy. All right? You, you, you people can stay learning. Stay in the debt side. You, you're going to get the bill. You're going to wear the bill of 30% of the population of New Zealand and 30% of the world. You're going to wear the bill from King the Maui Crown King William Trust. You're on this side, the Queen, the Queen's side. You're going to wear it all you lot. 
and Georgie Job's going to finish you a lot off. Well, she's got her Maori government, she can, I approve of what she does, because she was there supporting us on this side, so she gets all the spoils on this side to clean you fucking lot out. You buggers went somewhere else and locked the fucking gate. Because Kingy's not there for me anymore. It's Hummer and his fucking toy boys. Don't know a fucking thing about this way. Or, and stop fucking frying it around. For what reason? It's going to get taken from you. It's only going to go for what reason it's going to be for. Not your fucking lot. I'm fucking pissed off. That's why I'm putting these things on, on Facebook and YouTube. So they can see. People in the world watching you, you useless sods. Useless, fucking, dumb, brain dead, Maori, and your failure to recognise this rage power. I'm using this power to kick everybody out of the road because it's King's titles that are ruling this world, not the Queen. We're going to sack the Queen, hang her, hang everybody that's in her side, get rid of it, get, that'll get rid of all the wars with her and her corporate crown business. I'm saying that because I'm not the one to do it. The British military will do that. That's their job. We just write the check. Write the power note and the Paramount Chiefs will do their thing. This is their land. I don't need to be on the land. I'm just going to sit in the Caribbean because that's Dutch. That's ours. That's where the 300 million metric tons of gold is safe over there because that's our partner. This Dutch flag. Alright? Get that in your fucking heads, you muggles. Don't touch this Dutch flag. You're going to sit on the Queen's side because that's where you are at the moment. You, you can sit and hang on to the dear life to the Queen because we don't want you on this side. You can fucking stay there. We're going to look after all the other people around the world that believe this side. You can stay there, Willie. You stay over here and leave us alone because you're the one that's causing me a lot of anguish and a lot of pissed off feelings about what you're saying to me. Your mouth is saying something and you don't know anything about this side. You don't deserve nothing, Willie. You don't deserve a thing because you're not supporting what we're doing here. You're supporting Poroho. You stay there. You stay with Poroho and follow where he takes you. All right? Because he's going to be in Doomy land. You can stay there with him. Everything that you do, you stay there. Don't come with Bundy and what we do on this side because <clears throat> that's the way we do things. Bundy, Manahi, Hiribini, Georgie Job, Sunikora, the Maori government. Damn! Kick the bloody hell of you lot out. Sunikora will take the land on the east coast, the land that I can't get on, take the trustees out, take Tumutumu Pairo out, take the Maori land court out, take the whole fucking lot out. She will do that. Sunikora knows what to do. She's got Georgie's job there to put all the documents together. I've seen her documents. The proclamation has been read out that the land belongs to the chiefs, paramount chiefs, and not the king. See, we still have a contract with the king. It's just the land. The business belongs to the king and paramount chiefs. In this case, the, the trust. We've got a trust set up, and that trust goes around the world. It has nothing to do with anybody else. The trust is this title here. This is what the title is, the Freemasons. I'm sticking with the Freemasons because they put all this title together with Mohi Manika. They put the title together with Manika. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be where we are now. So, Bundy, this title with the Wano and the Rogan and the Manikas were put together. They chose our families and they chose the Maui statue. You put this together for memorial to Mohi Manikau and Tira Waikato for the Hiri Manikau. Hongi Hika didn't have a contract. He didn't have a contract for a fuck papa like this. He only wanted the guns. So he only has the guns and the flag part. So he doesn't have legal documents. There's no legal documents for, for Hongi. It was put together by Tira Waikato himself and passed on through his family to me, the executor of, of uh, Mohi Manikau's uh, Freemason Trust and Inheritance, I'm um, speaking for him on that side. And that's my protectorate, is the Freemasons and their documents, the legal documents that I'm using on site here on, on, our, on, our, on our court hearing. 
the copyright. Do not play with these copyright papers that I put online with the stamps on it, the latest stamp with the two chiefs and the Whakaminia. That stamp I made for the Whakaminia for the reason <coughs> for its Whakaminia trust. The money comes from Britain into that trust. All the money from here is in pound notes in London because the British run this country still. They still have an overriding protection of this country and the Whakaminia has not its own military because they won't get a military bigger than the British or the American military for a little country like this. So it still needs Big Daddy to look after it. I'm in the Big Daddy business of, 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 of Britain to keep Westminster going and, the, and replace whoever's in there that's corrupted it. There's a lot of corruption and fraud going on in that too. And so I'm going to talk from a distance until all the documents are gone through from these paramount chiefs. It's clear on the other end. The British will come to Rangitukia on our land blocks and set up all their military operations on Waipu River on the Haho 7B block and all the blocks along there will be seized for them. And they will do the Pacific, uh, take over the, the, the Queen's uh, 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 entities and America, they will take over America and run it from uh, the base in Rangitukia on my land blocks, the Ahobi 7B land blocks, all those land blocks and on the uh, Awapuri, uh, 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 um, the, the blocks at uh, Herega A12 at Port Awanui, Port Awanui, uh, Rotora East there on, on the beach, all that land blocks around there will be seized and the motel in, in, in Long Point will be seized at the same time as Cook Street and uh, the, the sheriff will sort that out, uh, the, the, the paramount chiefs and the debt collectors. We have ANEX uh, uh, debt company, uh, in, invoice company, that's invoicing all these uh, um, crimes of church and state and, and the police and everybody since they arrested me in Cook Street. All, all the way through is a trillion pounds on each one per day. Each, each Policeman that held me up, I should have had that land back then in 2012, right through all that, a trillion pounds each a day. And that's the bell. That's your fault, you wouldn't listen to me. So the consequences is it goes against your 30% of people, including the marriage and everybody on this side. Okay, You're all going to get the bill straight off. I'm billing you before we boot you. And then that's the end of you. All your, all your properties will be seized back into the King's Bench Court. And that's Britain, not here, Britain. So with that, the Whakaminia can, can put its, its own government structures together. It's got its own uh, government with the Maori government. That's fine because I, I, I've got all the books here for that. I can keep them on track, but soon the court's got everything. So I, I don't have to do much other than uh, um, endorse it with the pound note. So there's no need to go and borrow money from the UN or anybody. It's right here. We just seized the land and everything in it. Uh, so uh, no mortgages, all gone. We'll kick the mortgages off and go straight into the projects that we have ready to go. And our new uh, manager, uh, branch, uh, our, uh, general manager, will take over next week, Tuesday. And we'll have a meeting here with Daryl Payne in, in California. I've been doing his uh, land titles all morning. <coughs> on Skype with him, so he's on track now with uh, King William IV flag and 18, uh, 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 1832 period uh, on Californian titles with the natives was 1832, uh, the, the time of commerce, the periods of commerce from 1820 to 1834 and this flag 1834, anything between there is our title in California, take the whole of America there and Darrell is uh, and uh, Rennie Powers will um, uh, be, be in the company when we get uh, going on Cook Street or see that, that land and then they'll, they'll do the same in, in America um, uh, on the same flag and stamp the Whakaminia stamp. I've got another stamp, the Maui stamp will be similar, uh, another stamp um, um, in the place of the Whakaminia for the world. The Whakaminia is for here, the New Zealand, 
and uh, all the outside uh, Commonwealth countries of the world, and 250 countries will go under a different British seal with Moai. The Moai is a memorial around the world in all those powerful countries, and that's, that's uh, different to the Whakaminina Trust, it's just for New Zealand. They'll administer the lands of New Zealand, and the Pacific Islands will come under, under the uh, Moai crown for the whole world. Okay, so that's how that works. 10%, I'll just say this this way. <coughs> what we recover on every single land block, one at a time. Motu propria, motu propria, Pope Francis got rid of his laws. His UCC laws, his canon law, courier law, uh, civil law, and admiralty law. He got rid of his admiralty, but he can't touch our admiralty straight to Westminster. He borrowed from the Queen. Okay, he borrowed it from Queen Victoria and he borrowed it from Queen Elizabeth. And that's where the trouble with him is. Because everything he used outside of his jurisdiction is inside this Admiralty flag of King William III, King William IV, and King Ernest Augustus I, and King George IV, and King Ernest Augustus V, that's live at 63 years old, and his son, Prince Regent, Ernest Augustus. 33 years old as our partner in monarchy sovereign, King of Britain, UK, Hanover and Altair, New Zealand and Pacific Islands in the Commonwealth countries and 250 countries with this flag, King Ernest Augustus V is the reigning monarch. Our oath of office goes straight to him into Westminster. We're going to put him in Westminster and boot the Queen <coughs> before William tries to get in there with our eight point star. John Key just stole it and put it on him as a Templar. No, we're going to, we, we, we'll, we'll take him into court on the 29th of September 2017. We're, 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 I'm standing there with the eight point star to claim it and he's got to stand in front of me with his eight point star with me and three power mounties on the front bench of the Magistrate Court. The, the Auckland Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court straight to Westminster Magistrate Court online. Two hour court case that will be done in no time. If they don't turn off, if you don't turn off, Jonky, it goes against you. All the information on the two website I've got with your name on it, your photo, and you in a wanted box, and everybody else, you have libeled the banks, you have libeled all the banks as well, so they're going to get shut down <coughs> with this flag and us, me, with the eight point star of St. Patrick. That's my ancestor's Belfast where he's buried. That's DUP party from the Protestant. That's me in Belfast, that's my title with Patrick, surrogate St. Patrick there, and the St. Mary's uh, Church in Tiki Tiki on my land block, <coughs> with my Rahui Marai, with my Wano Tupunas, and Uetaha and Matauri Wano there, and the Whakawhitira Native Magistrate Court. That's my title at 1831 when they did those first birth certificates, deaths and marriages, certificates under the Freemason title. Okay, so what the hell have you got against that? What have I just said that Willie really thinks that you've got something over me? You better watch yourself, mate. You better watch yourself because Bundy, he's, got it. he's working in the prisons. He'll have something for you if you don't shut your mouth and stay out of the way and stay in Japan. Don't come back because I think you're on a slippery road. You might be nice, fella, but deep down you've got something going on. I'll get it out of you. I'll get it out of you in the court. In this hearing, you turn up there, I'm going to tell the whole bloody world just what you're doing. You better fix your fracking up and all the dead fish in the sea that's been the tipped all the stuff in the sea. You've got a problem with those Japanese. You're going to get the bill. But you tell your Japanese people you're going to get a big pound note right up against your face and theirs for spilling and killing all those fish in the sea. You're a threat to the environment. You're a threat to me. You're a threat to these paramount chiefs and you're a threat to Britain, our partner. Go and get your own partner, because the king is talking, right? You're going to speak for the Japanese or somewhere else where your, your interest lies, and don't cross me. Okay, I'm saying this. I'm saying this in front of citing you on this, this video, on this YouTube video, because <coughs> you have threatened me that I can't go to England. Someone's going to stop me. That's what you say, right? That's a direct threat. That's a direct threat against everything I've ever done in the last 20 years. I haven't seen you on that Titi Marae. I haven't seen you anywhere near anything 
with the Confederation, with the Maori government, with anything. You've just been to Japan somewhere overseas and playing around with somebody else. You can go back there. Boot you off this land, mate. I'll boot you out of here. You can get the fucking hell in the sea with this flag up your ass. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Don't fucking cross me, man. Don't fucking cross me. <clears throat> okay, um, that's all I want to say. I'll just go to Danny's this afternoon and uh, he's got something for me. I'll tell you about it later. Uh, but uh, Danny being very good, I think he's diplomatic. So I've got, I've got nothing against Danny. Danny is, 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 is uh, diplomatic uh, and educated and doesn't say things like that to me. He doesn't try and frighten me, but I, you, you don't frighten me one bit. And, and saying things like that in front of me when everybody's watching, there's something you're up to, no good. Bundy will get it out of you. He's going to get it out of you. He's got all the power in the world. It's all gone into Westminster. It's all gone to the government. <coughs> and he has ultimate control and position of title to this country and not you. He can boot you right out of here. And my advice to him is boot you off. You're going to stay in Japan and fix all your bloody Fukushima nuclear waste that's gone into the sea and killed all the fucking fish. You go and fix all that up, mate. You go back there and fix that lot up because I'm going to bill you for it. I'm going to bill you personally. One trillion pound on your fucking head for saying that to Willie. Willie, you get a pair of trillion pound on your head too. On this video. I'm saying that because you uttered to me to frighten me. You don't frighten me one bit, both of you. And Willie, you stopped my marae and, and got a, uh, somebody to do an AGM in there. That's tempering. You're tempering with my arrangements for that marae. I've been in that marae. I've got more right to that marae than you have. I've been in there. I can shut the whole fucking lot down with that land too. And you, out of the way. I'll shut that. I'll take that fucking whole land, mate. Watch me. And you won't be anywhere near it. You won't get a brass rose out of me, mate. Because... Somebody else is taking over after me after this. I, I won't have to get into arguments with you. The law is going to be British law here, mate. It's British law. The federal state government law is this flag over this country and over the whole fucking world. And it's not about to change. Not one bit. <coughs> Scotland, Scottish rights, and the British is going to keep moving on with our partnership and you can jump off the fucking land into the sea where you come from. Don't stick yourself to us. Keep out of the road because I consider you a threat, Willie, of what you just said to me. It put me on a war path because this is a war flag of anybody in a third party, your third party, your third, you're talking third party. When you say someone's going to stop me, you're talking third party to me, a two party with Britain. British are looking after me. I don't know who the fuck is looking after you. Poor eyes looking after you. So you're going to get nailed. You're going to get hammered. Anybody's going to get hammered who interferes with what I arrange for these paramounties. I'm going to look after them. I'm going to give up all my business and all my things and watch and look after them and watch them and guide them because I've been left with that task. I've been left with executor powers as executor and creditor for Mohi Manukau and the Freemasons. He's part of a contract. I'm honouring his contract with the Freemasons because they are the ones that put all the documents together that you're playing around with. Play around with those documents and play around with my documents. My documents have their words in them and it's their patent in it. We've got our patent, the Maui Statute, going along with them because he's standing in London, he's standing in, in Queen Elizabeth's Great Court and that's my own royal family, royal ties in my royal family. That's got a right to speak from London. You got that in your thick heads? I think you've got to stick to your own thing. Don't go anywhere near this. You want to fuck a papa to on your hitler? He's got no legal title, mate. He's got no legal title. But I'm going on what Bundy is doing with money, and we are equal partners. It's what Bundy says that goes. He's the one that forces the law. Okay. Money is the peace, peacemaker. Bundy forces the law, and 
creates the axe through that Maori government call it what they want. But I'm um, the Maui Crown. I'm speaking for the Maui Crown and the people of the world, which is the Whakaminina is in that too. They're in our office in Auckland. They're in our office with the Whakaminina Trust that the money from Britain goes in because it's taxed over there and the military goes with it. The insurance is the military and all the other militaries in the world that joins us. Those countries that join us gets the same power note written to them to protect their membership with us. We're guaranteeing everything under the king. There's no guarantees under the queen. And your side, well, it's shaky as hell. It's got no certainty. It's got no plans. It's got confusion and all over the bloody place. Your fellas didn't arrange that marae too well, didn't arrange uh, anything with that meeting we had on the beach. It, 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 if you're all going to run things like that, we're not having a bar of it. Bundy and I are not like that. Bundy and I, money, we do things right. That is notified, it happens. It doesn't guess if it's going to happen or not. You can stay with your guessing game and stay right out of this. Okay, so today I'm, I'm being with Daryl in California to show his titles out for this thing and who to go to, set them up. <coughs> and he's working with us as a, as a uh, an agent for Maui Crown, King William IV Trust. The, the Maui Crown King William IV Trust is for all the people in 70% of the world population from any country. But we have four, we have 250 countries on our website and that will be hooked up and running for all the shareholders who join. You get a mobile phone number and join straight onto TagPay. They've got a phone number there. Call that number and call our number that's on the website and uh, uh, Cecile will join it up to make it work and then put your £25 in, what you get back is threefold on the tidal turbine project, but you, you have a claim to directly straight away to all that we recover in, in all the lands we recover right through the world, back into the King's Bench Court and Britain Westminster Magistrate Court, into Westminster Parliament. Okay? And that's how it works. That's how it works. <coughs> um, so, out of what we recover from one land block, in Cook Street, I've estimated it to be 2.5 billion. But I've got a, I've got a pound note, 2.5 billion pound note, for that block, and it's fixed on that. But the rest of the trillion pounds on each of them, that's just the land title there, and the rest of them has got a trillion pounds on their head, and multiplied. And all that time, I warned them, it's a trillion pounds a day for every day. I'm not sitting in that block in that office. It is our land. It is the Manukau's land, and you haven't put the Manukau's land name on your title. It's beyond now, it's gone. The, the matter is at an end, <coughs> and it can't go back into it anymore. You fail to turn up to the court hearing, the land is returned, seized off, and every other land with it. Okay, so that's, that's how it works. That's how it works. The British have got an eye on what's happening here, and every other country that's affected by the same Queen Crooked. Crown Rothschild. Okay, so so uh, this is how it works. Out of 100% of what we have of 2.5 billion, 10%, I'm saying this figure, if, if we're going to adjust it until it's right, but 10, this is hypothetically, 10% goes to our partner, the British Navy and the military. <coughs> I'll write it down so I, I, I don't get this up. 10% to, to military and Navy, our partner. 10% to Westminster for the use of the flag and for the use of the copyrights and everything through uh, the, um, um, the government itself and Parliament and uh, um, um, the Freemasons. <coughs> they'll, they'll come under that category. So they'll get their 1% or, or so out of it for their part in the title. 10% goes to <coughs> tax in Britain. 10% goes to uh, Insurance for our members. Ten percent goes to Fakaminia in, 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 in Auckland from from this account. Ten percent goes to the children of the world, children and education, and ten percent. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's sixty percent. At least forty percent, right? At least forty percent. And with the Tidal Energy Project, um, uh, we get thirty percent. Uh, tax credit from the British government because we pay them tax. 
So that means we get 70% of our original 2.5 billion, which ends up around about 1.5 1, 1, 1, 1 billion, right? That, uh, something like that, about 750 million. <coughs> 750 million, <coughs> million of that goes to the shareholders and projects. <coughs> 1.5 1. billion goes to the tidal turbine project and for the housing development, the housing development comes out of the 750 that goes to the membership, right? All the housing insurance um, um, is covered already, um, so what, what you get in your mobile phone is tax free, everything you get is net, net out to your phone week by week. You get paid every week because there'll be more flying, more money flying in from fraud, fraud business <coughs> until the tidal turbine picks up. There's a three to one ratio on return on investment of your £25 on just the tidal turbine hydrogen project. Uh, that'll give you £50, £50 every week and £25 left in the account. And that's every every week. Every week you're going to get that from, from just the £25 here. You can, every, you leave more money in your account or, or add to it It'll, it'll accrue all the interest from all the other uh, shareholders coming in and the big companies that drop in a, a million pounds to get a patent on any projects they do. It costs them a million pounds minimum to come in to get the contracts for steel in each country or get the, the contracts for agriculture or any, anything like on trade with this trade flag, this trade bank flag, guaranteed. So um, that's, they put more money in and you get more of a dividend. <coughs> straight out on your mobile phone. It's not unusual to get five hundred pounds a week to every single member on this side, seventy percent of the population of each country, or seventy percent of the population of the world, you'll jump right into it. And we'll be watching who comes in because we'll boot out the ones who have been threats, threats to us. And we're not we're not gonna bring in people who are uh, uh, against us or being a threat to us. Uh, at all. They can stay on that side and roast with that lot and we build a debt out of here. All those people are, are homeless <coughs> and and people in that area, in the cordon off in area of like say Hokianga, they got a boundary area, go around there and pick them all up, give them a mobile phone, <coughs> we'll get a mobile phone for them and their number and that's their account. Their phone number is their account and they get the money straight to them. Okay? No, no middleman. No middleman in this. And it's, it, 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 it's automatic. It's automatic. And we can keep touch with them to get a vote from them. Okay? That's the idea of the tag pay. It keeps track of all the money that's going in out for the British, our, our, our accounts in, in Britain, uh, through Annex, uh, the invoice company. You'll keep track on that for our, our girl here. So she'll, she'll pick up on that. But, so that's the percentages of uh, uh, dispersal of, of recovered funds or. or uh, We've got a little of control and possession of, of land, property, and uh, businesses, and also bank accounts, all that lot from that person, that one person. The multi-propria took away all those laws so we can pot you off one by one. So don't be surprised if someone knocks on your door and picks, up, picks, picks on you. But there'll be sheriffs going to every territory, in, including in, in, in Hokianga or, or Ma, Ma, Tauri, Ma, Ma, Ma Tauri Bay. Uh, or uh, area, uh, and they'll check all, all, all the businesses in there, and all, all the properties. They'll check all the properties to see who owns it with the titles. We'll, we'll be seizing all the titles and checking who's in it and checking their accounts. We'll, we'll, we've got the right to go into the councils and audit the box straight off with Bundy. And since he's made a proclamation now, it sticks. Now, so that's what's going to happen here. Uh, that's all I want to say. I think uh, I think I've covered enough. I'm just waiting for Danny to ring me, and I'll be off to see him um, and um, and uh, talk to him about what's what's happening here. But Willie, I think I think you're you're real deterrent and a pain in our, our a thorn in our side uh, right at this moment because I think it's you that's that's skewing everything off, and I I, I don't wish to, to have a thing to do with you anymore. Uh, that's on this video because you have upset me. You, you have upset me by that Marai and now telling me a second time that Puraho has got some people to, to, to haul me up or do something with me. It's like they're going to kill me. That, that's, that's, I see that as a threat. I'm saying that on this video now, that you have put yourself in an awkward position 
of threats with saying that to me, a, sur a surrogate king, speaking for the king, saying that to me from this side under the queen.